Kids bring them home from school. Grades, and we all look at them. Well, now the schools are getting graded as well. The report cards released today by the Department of Education. Thanks for joining us at 5, everybody. I'm Bob Clawson. And I'm Ashley Ketz. The school rating system assigns a letter grade to each school and gives an overview under the Every Student Succeeds Act. The school letter grades are um, part of our state accountability system. They are required uh, by state legislation. They are based on the SS school index um, calculation, which is part of our uh, federal accountability plan. Five school districts are under state control right now. Dollar Way, Pine Bluff, Lee County, Earl, and Little Rock. The Little Rock School District under academic distress, and the state is now figuring out a way to try to get it back under local control. Some argue, like the Arkansas Legislative Black Caucus, that that way that the data out there is gathered isn't the correct way to indicate a school's success or not. What happens to a school when it gets an F label on it? This label gets tattooed onto the brains of the children who go to those schools. Stephanie Shark spoke with the Little Rock superintendent who says there are many positive things found in this data. Stephanie? Yeah, Bob and Ashley, there is a lot of information in all of this data that was released today. In the last few years, the State Board of Education has created a new way to grade schools. That data gathered is from growth scores, graduation rates, school quality, student success, and much more. According to the data, the Little Rock School District has eight failing schools. The superintendent says the growth score, though, shows a much more positive story. An online portal giving information to parents on how to grade school success. Looking at the Little Rock School District, many schools are left with grades ranging from A's to F's. And the DNF is where we want parents to jump in and, and say, how can we be a part? What can we do to be more engaged, both at home and then at school? Little Rock Superintendent Michael Poor says the results are surprising, but it's not all about the letter grade. He looks at the growth score, how well the student did in class from the first day of school until the last. And our growth scores we had 30 out of our 40 schools experience uh, increases in their growth scores. In 2016, the state created this new way of grading scores. Poor says, though some schools may be considered failing, there is much more than that. If a parent does see a D or F, I hope what they do is they say, we need to even invest more in our child in the school. Former Little Rock superintendent and school board member Baker Curris says this is not an appropriate way to grade schools. Well, I see that they, they measure school failure uh, on, based on the wrong things. I mean, there are lots of kids in those schools that work hard and do well. He says there should be many more factors at play in the data. It's homelessness, it's abject poverty, it's the inability to speak English, it's, uh, those are the the determining factors, those are the variables that make the biggest difference. And labeling a school is the wrong approach. Poor says this information is informative to the future of the district. The overall thing is good because it does show uh, multiple indicators that we should all care about. We should care about growth, we should care about performance in these areas of reading and math. We and you can go ahead and check all that information out yourself. All the Arkansas public schools are listed. You can go to myschoolinfo.arkansas.gov and type in your school's name there and get all that information. I want to give you a glimpse of other schools, notable schools, and some of their grades. Most of the PCSSD schools got a C average. Six schools earned a D. North Little Rock scored mostly Ds. The lowest grade of Fayetteville or Springdale school got was a C. Jacksonville North Pulaski earning two Cs, three Ds, and two Fs. To see what grade your school district received, you can go to our website, krk.com.